Man, I hate to say it, but right now would be a great time to work on the valves, especially that bottom one right there, but, but uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna clean up the area and then we'll get the bike back up. All right, here we go. We're gonna lift this bad boy up. Let's do it. We're done with everything we need to do inside the, the engine. Well, I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna pick it up on the handlebars, like so. Okay, not too hard. It was really easy. I'm gonna put it back on the center stand. Okay, and there we go. And then I'm gonna start putting the bike back together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the the step bar back on, and the step bar inside side stand and then uh, and then we'll go put oil on the bike and then that's that'll be it we'll be done oh and the shifter put the shifter back <laughs> okay I'll just get a uh, quick video of me doing that <laughs> Okay, so the book doesn't have a torque spec for the uh, freaking um, step bar, so I'm just gonna snug it with as as tight as I can make it with this guy, all right, without exerting too much, you know, without without using too much of my strength. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, all right. Why wouldn't they have a torque spec, man? There should be a torque spec for every bolt. <laughs> this would make sense, right? All right, there it is. Okay, man, that thing is a pain in the ass to install. I, I hate that freaking bar, man. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy next. Just make sure you put it back the way you found it. Oops, all right, I didn't get on video. I put the shifter back in, all right? All right. Okay, and then the last thing to do is to put some fresh oil in there, all right, guys? I've uh, I've already I cleaned up my garage a little bit. <laughs> all right, take this off. Clean the cap a bit. Okay. Start pouring some fresh oil in there, and hopefully, hopefully the the it, the cover doesn't leak. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. All right. All right. This is the my leftover oil from last time, so I'm trying to use it all up. Okay. I'll pour the rest of that in the other bottle later. And he's making use every drop, man. Every drop. Start pouring in there. Pouring in and make sure I keep an eye on this. Let me let me get my headlight so I can sleep a little better. Sit down on the ground and do this. Clean the window. <laughs> I know I notice it's a little dirty. You can get like a Q tip in there, man. So... Alright, I just see it barely on the window. Try to get it between the line. Actually, I want it to be full because when we start it up, it's probably going to go through the motor. I need to 
clean my super code. This is kind of dirty. All right. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my plug back in. I cleaned it already, so. All right, and then so we're gonna run it for like a minute, and then and then uh, and then check the oil level again. Does this have like an oil pressure light on it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Just gotta hope. All right, so one thing you wanna do while it's running is make sure it's not leaking any oil. There's two places that'll leak oil. All right. From where, from the bottom of this crankcase cover, or the, I mean the, the clutch cover, and the, the um, what is it, the, uh, the drain plug, all right? So make sure the drain plug's not leaking. And just look under there and make sure nothing else is leaking. Okay. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything looks good, I hope. I'm gonna let it run for about a minute and then I'm gonna shut it off, wait another minute, and then check the Okay, it's been a there. minute, I'm gonna shut it off. All right, I'm going to let it sit for about another minute or two, and then we're going to check the oil level again and try to top it off. Wow, there's some uh, condensation that came out of the muffler, man. It's <laughs> a lot of water. Okay, it's been about a minute. All right, maybe I should wait a little longer, but it's just, it's like between, it's in the middle now. It's between the, the top and the bottom hash mark, all right? So I'm going to go add a, enough oil to get it to the top one, and then that'll be it, okay? And then... And uh, yeah, the oil already looks dirty, man. <laughs> All right, whatever, dude. It's okay, it's fresh oil. Okay, I filled it up All with right. more oil. It's pretty full now. All right, pretty much where we want it. And so hopefully we won't have to check it for a while. All right, I'm not going to lie. The last time I, I ch I've been checking it and checking it and it never goes down guys. So this thing is, uh, it doesn't really consume any oil at all. All right. Unlike my KLR650 here. <laughs> this, thing some, this thing freaking guzzles oil, man. Uh, that's what I like. I don't like it to consume any oil. I didn't have to top off this thing at all since the last oil change. I, I didn't put any extra oil at all. So I just wrote it. All right. And that's what I like. <laughs> okay. So that's it. All right, he's big here. So uh, we're done. All right, I'm done cleaning the. Uh, uh, I changed the, what I did is I, we changed the oil strainer. All right, and then I we we took the oil spinner apart. We cleaned up in there. We and I changed the gasket because I had a brand new one, and I cleaned up all around there. All right, um, and then and we put it all back together. All right, so. So, uh, so what I did is I put it on its side first. I knew I already knew that like everything is gonna fall apart if you don't if you don't put it on its side, all right. Um, what I use is a mat. I use a mat and a moving blanket, all right. My suggestion is yeah, just use a bunch of uh, use a bunch of blankets. You know, you don't mind getting dirty. That's what I would do, all right. Um, and you kind of do need some space to do it. I, I bet barely enough space to do it. Like that, which means, um, it took me uh, four hours to do it, all right. Uh, yeah, it took four hours. I, I was kind of taking my time, all right, just just to make sure I was doing it right. You have to do this every 8,000 miles, guys, all right? And then, um, yeah. Um, and then one of the hardest parts is trying to put the cover back on because there's so many things you got to line up. You got the two dowel pins. You got that little oil squirter thingy. You've got the, the sh there's a shifter shaft thing that's got to go in there. And then there's the... That, that little ball shifter thing that's got to go go in there, all right? And yeah, and then all we did was we just put oil in the put oil in the engine and we ran it and we made sure it had the right level. So, uh, so that was it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it took a, it took a long time and it was a real pain in the ass. I wish Honda didn't do this. <laughs> okay, I wish they just use a regular freaking oil filter, you know? Um, so, so the way it goes with the oil changes and everything, every 4,000 miles you just change the oil, all right? You don't have to clean anything. You just change the oil, and then uh, every 8,000 miles, all right, after another 4,000 miles, then you got to go clean that thing, all right? Honestly, I I think after the first time you clean it, I wouldn't even bother anymore, all right? Unless the gasket is leaking, all right? Um, also, Hazen Mega got very lucky, and, I, and the gasket did not break, all right? I didn't break it or crack it or anything. The little teeny tiny little pieces of it came out. I made sure it left them on the, ga the gasket surf surfaces, okay? <laughs> 
and it doesn't look like it's leaking. Hayes make it lucked out, all right? Hopefully in the next 8,000 miles, it'll be okay, all right? I don't even know if I want to do this again in 8,000 miles. I would just maybe just change the oil or something, all right? After you've done it for a while, I, you know, but I'm not going to lie, there was a good amount of crud in there, all right? It was kind of like some, kind of like carbon, the carbon gasket material, that's what it was like, all right? And, I, and you just have to wipe it up. All right, you have to be careful not to drop it in the engine. Yeah, it's a lot of work, guys. I, I hate to say it. I, I, I would rather just take a freaking paper filter out of the motor and just put stick another one in there. Yeah, I would rather just go with, through with that than have to do this every 8,000 miles, man. Uh, what a pain in the ass. But I, I, I'm not sure, but I think the newer Super Cubs don't have to do that. I, I'm not 100%, but I think this is how it's been on the Super Cub for like however long it's been around, like 30 plus years type of thing, so yeah <laughs> okay so uh i will put a link for the um for the the right side cover gasket all right the, the clutch cover gasket uh the the strainer filter and the and the spinner the spinner gasket okay those are the those are the three things that you're going to need to do this all right i um Hayes, like i said Hayes, make it lucked out and the gas the cover gasket stayed on there so i reused it all right but but I would definitely have an extra filter. That's why I bought two. That's why I bought two gaskets. So next time, I, if I'm gonna do this again, you know, I'll have it already. You know, and they're very inexpensive, less than ten dollars for the gaskets, guys. Just just buy them, all right. Just make sure you got it before you do it, all right. Because you don't want to be like, oh, I gotta go have get this part ordered. I, I don't think the dealerships carry this part, guys. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I have. I'm pretty sure you have to special order it. But I will put a link of where I bought it. All right, and other places that you could buy it, the the parts. Okay, to to to. to but make sure you have this stuff beforehand. All right. Um, the the spinner gasket, I probably could have reused. All right, this guy. I probably could have reused it if I just bent it back into shape. Yeah, I probably could have reused it, but I went and used a, a brand new one, okay? Um, and, and this still has all that crud and stuff that you got to clean. So I, I saved myself from having to clean this, and then I just put a new one. Like I said, it's only a few dollars. Why Why not? <laughs> okay? You'll we'll have to do it for 8,000 more miles, all right? Okay, and then the oil that you use is a 10W30. This is a pretty hard oil to find, all right? If you can't find the oil, uh, go to like a, your Honda dealership and ask them for oil, all right? They, they pro should probably have the right oil. Um, I used a, I used these two oils, all right, guys? Uh, Lucas High Performance Motorcycle Oil. It's a full synthetic, all right? And an Amsoil Synthetic Metric Motorcycle Oil, all right? This is stuff I just had lying around, all right? This is, this is apparently $13 pretty expensive uh, but you only have to buy one all right so it's not a it's not bad and you still have I still have a good amount left all right I got two I got like five ounces left <laughs> okay yeah and then there's Lucas stuff I know you can buy the Lucas stuff at um, at O'Reilly's okay I bought this at O'Reilly's all right I think it was on sale too so I'll, I'll probably be checking out O'Reilly's every once in a while and see if they have sales on these guys. All right, this is 10W30, all right, this is what the Super Cup uses. Okay, uh, and then yeah, just make sure you torque everything. All right, there was, the, there was a one bolt in there that I kept on tightening and it just kept on spinning and it didn't want to tighten. I was like, damn, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to strip that or break the threads or whatever. I have a feeling somebody had already taken this off and they messed it up or something. And, and so, but, and then the crappy thing is it's on the bottom. The bottom is the most important one, right, guys? That's the one that holds all the oil in, right? Uh, yeah, but look, fortunately, it's not leaking, okay? All right, so I, I guess I'll, I'll have to just do this again in 8,000 miles. I don't know if I want to do it or not, but 8,000 miles is, uh, is, is, is going to be like maybe another year or two on the Super Cup, so. I, you know, it's not too hard, but it just, yeah, it's just kind of time consuming and yeah, time to take that cover off and everything, it sucks. I wish Honda didn't make it like that. <laughs> okay. But anyway, Super Cubs back in business. All right. So in uh, 4,000 miles, I will, uh, I will just do another oil change. All right. And then uh, I'm going to change the spark plug. All right. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how to change the spark plug, um, I will, uh, I'll put that video on there. I'll put a link in the description. All right. 
Also, the uh, the step bar, man, what a pain in the ass it is to take this thing out. Oh yeah, so so the stuff that Hades Mega took out, all right, it's not all the stuff that was mentioned in the book. Uh, I took the step bar out and I took the shifter out like they told us, uh, but I didn't take the trim ring off. There was no reason to take that off. I didn't take the exhaust off, but I took the exhaust cover off, right? Because the exhaust cover kind of blocks one of the bolts, all right? Um, and then yeah, I put a I put a block underneath the the brake pedal, all right? This freaking brake pedal gets in the way. I hate it, you know. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this is educational and entertaining video, guys. Um, that is how to clean the oil spinner and and clean or replace the oil strainer in your Honda Super Cup C125. Thanks for watching.